Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Naturally Aspirated. My name is Dave. We are here with Chili today. Sup, Jets? And uh, welcome to our electric car special. We're going over a couple electric cars here and uh, something we don't usually do. Against our criticism that we've given to electric cars, all politics aside today, we're going to talk about some awesome technology, some sweet looking cars, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, starting first with, I just did an article about this on our website, so check that out if you haven't, Fisker. And uh, so the company that started as Fisker Automotive back in the day, uh, they created the Karma when Fisker was fresh out of Tesla himself. And um, then he sold Karma. It's like some Chinese company, now they're called Karma Automotive. And now he's created another car company <laughs> called Fisker Inc. So... Uh, They've released the Fisker Ocean, which will yeah. be the, according to the Fisker, will be the world's most sustainable vehicle. Materials made from recycled, abandoned fish nets and plastic from the ocean. Um, that's actually crazy. Yeah, that's pretty insane. And not to mention, it's actually going to be a decent little SUV too here. Well, not little, but. Yeah, it's actually, yeah. It, it is a decent size too. Yeah, for sure. It, it's pretty, pretty cool. I mean. If you look it up on the website here and they show you what it looks like, it does look nice. I like the like the way it looks and everything. And a pretty cool feature on it is the back window actually rolls down on it. That's sick. That is actually <laughs> sick. And it's got these two back like uh, windows on the side that are very small, but they also roll down too with everything. So like, if there's oh, a window weird, on it, yeah. it all comes down that's except sweet. the front windshield. That's sweet, yeah. yeah. Definitely one of the better looking electric cars, I think. Uh, questionable front headlights, but yeah. that's like my only complaint about it. Really reminds me kind of of a roll, no, sorry, pardon me, a Land Rover, I think, or a Range Rover from the front. Kind of looks like an Evoke, but yeah, just those headlights. The headlights are honestly kind of evoke too. I think if they changed them up, maybe to look a little more aggressive, it actually would look awesome because it is a good looking vehicle absolutely yeah and it's not even that expensive either um if you if you're american and you buy it it's gonna end up being around thirty thousand us because of the tax credit from the government oh that's interesting that's nice yeah. so because it's it's going up at actually around 37.5 but you know the governments can help you out there and you can buy an electric car for cheaper that's actually an affordable as um Electric, electric car, yeah. that's crazy, that's awesome. Good for uh, Heinrich Fischer, Fisker there. Yeah. Um, so little stats on it, 400 to 480 kilometers of range, depending on what you got. Uh, it's available on four wheel drive and high with high performance dual motors. Uh, there's an optional full length solar roof, which yeah. would give you the possibility of over 1,000 free miles per year. That's awesome actually, I, I love that. That's what solar panels on the roof. That's like, that's if you're going to go electric cars, I think that's a genius idea. Might as well harvest as much as you can and actually make sure that energy is as green as possible. Um, it yeah. also says it's got about 300 horsepower in it, which is pretty typical for gas SUVs. Yeah, no, that's great. That's right in the range, especially if you're saying 30 grand, 35 grand. That's perfect for that's quite a bit, actually, or decent amount for that uh, price range for sure. Yeah. Um, so for charging, it can charge up to 320 kilometers of range in 30 minutes. That's quick. That's good. Yeah. It's not bad at Plug all. It in before you go for a nice little trip around town. And the interior actually does look very nice. Uh, it's got, it's very limited for what it's actually got. Not much inside. So there's not too much just distracting the eye. It's very simplistic. And it does look good. Yeah, absolutely. I totally I enjoy simplistic interiors as well. I think a lot of companies are getting uh, a little antsy, a little overcomplicated with what they're doing. Just you're right. That simple interior looks great with that big screen in the middle. Yeah, and we're not the brightest guys around town, so a little simple doesn't hurt. Yeah, I, gotta, I don't know how to work anything. What do I? <laughs> we know. I gotta focus enough on driving. Yeah, <laughs> which you can barely do sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so they also announced the Fisker E-Motion will be going to production. That was the, uh, it was a concept car earlier. And what do you think of the front of that there? I think it looks dope. 
<laughs> it looks sick. It's uh, really interesting. Uh, for the, sure. uh, like I really want to start talking about how the doors open. <laughs> yeah, I know you do, but I wanted to talk about the front first because I know we're gonna get distracted by the doors. I think it looks pretty cool from the front. It does kind of remind me of Tesla's a little bit. Yeah. The original model. What's the original model S one there? Um, or the, again, like again, the Roadster almost. Or the Roadster a little bit. That's yeah. true. But with his input in Tesla previously and the the lawsuit and everything that went into that, yeah. we're not get we won't get into much detail or anything like that. But uh, I think I also think like the front makes it look like it should be just a coupe, but it's like it's a four door and like from the side it looks still really nice and looks like a sports car and everything. Yeah, absolutely. And, but, like from the front, you're like, damn, this car looks like it's gonna be fast. Which I it does look like it's going to be fast everywhere. From the side, I honestly think it does look like a Tesla once again. Oh, yeah. A little bit. I like the shape a little bit better than a Tesla, but again, yeah, it does have some similarities for yeah, sure. A little bit more curvy. Yeah, absolutely. And then let's get into those doors. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so sick. So if you don't know about the doors, and, uh, and definitely look it up. It's unbelievable. The front doors open up and forwards like something you would see in a mclaren or a laugh um which is pretty crazy to <laughs> compare it to <laughs> and then the back doors are like nothing you've ever seen before no how do you describe how would you describe that um it almost looks like like a, a gull wing type deal you know yeah it kind of looks like that but it's just got like this little small hinge on the, hinge back. On the back that makes it it pops up like that but it doesn't have nowhere near the amount of surface area that the old doors did and everything. Yeah. I, I wonder what it would be like to actually, like, get into the car. Because, like, you, if you look, there's only a little bit of room in between both doors when they're open. Yeah, I'm wondering how high that actually rear is one too. is. Like, yeah. Are you going to have to crawl in sideways and stuff <laughs> or what, right? But, yeah, like you said, it's kind of a gullwing style. But unlike the Teslas where it opens up from the middle here, it's opening up on the C pillar and out and up and it just looks really sweet definitely recommend looking at it it's an awesome looking thing for yeah. sure i really love the red too it's a nice yeah. color of red the red on the concept car looks yeah really and nice the interior of that like light brown yeah it's a very nice contrast yeah for sure um fisker alaska fisker alaska uh so this is going to be their competitor to the Cybertruck. It's pretty interesting. You can tell he doesn't like Elon Musk, Mr. Fisker, as they're literally matching each yeah. Tesla in the marketplace with uh, here. The, the Alaska will be going up against the Cybertruck. Personally, not much. There's not much pictures of anything of it, um, but looks like more like a cool. truck. Yeah. And it's interesting for sure. From what I've seen, um, it looks a lot better than the, the uh, Tesla Cybertruck for yeah. The sure. Cybertruck literally looks like I drew it when I was four. So. <laughs> yeah. it's, yes, and yeah. I still draw the same. So yeah, <laughs> or yesterday, one of the two. Yeah, but no, it just looks more like a pickup truck. Again, it's kind of small. It's a light pickup truck. Um, yeah, how it doesn't look like it's gonna have that big of a box. No, I don't think so at all. But you know, yeah. Um, it's concept right now. There's yeah, not much about it. There's just... nothing really on it. Just that rear tailgate. Yeah, and there is a uh, silhouette of it, but it looks almost like a. It kind of reminds me of a Honda Ridgeline in the silhouette, which is kind of what it's comp competing against. Like none of these trucks are competing against F one fifty or anything, even Cybertruck. And mm -hmm. it's not like a real fake, truck it's with its fake truck. stats. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Unbreakable window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Example A. <laughs> that was so funny. It's like an absolute muffin toss. So, window shatters. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, finally, Fisker also by 2023, they're coming out with a sports crossover to uh, compete against the Tesla Model Y. So a little bit everywhere for all Teslas to attack. And uh, personally, I like their styling better at the moment. And, you know... They, they do look nicer. Um, the question is just how well they can actually do and 
how many people are going to buy it because I mean Tesla has that name and people just assume because you're buying a Tesla you're buying quality so yeah I mean, like that's I, the thing you got to get your name brand up there I think Fisker's main problem is the karma being not being the rights of the karma being sold to Karma Automotive instead of yeah. Fisker like that is such a beautiful car um, again it's a four uh, four door sedan and I think it looks sweet. It's one of the best looking at, uh, electric cars. It's kind of like if they had that for themselves, they could be like, yeah. "This is our glory car, still our halo car." Yeah. And then these are like the rest of them. It kind of draws that attention, right? When you have a halo car, but again, the the emotions kind of. It doesn't look quite... anything like the emotion. No, it, the the styling's quite a bit different, I yeah. think. But the emotions kind of. It's going to be their new Halo car. Again, it's just yeah. a concept form, so I'm looking forward to see the actual production vehicle. As am I. Yeah. Now, Let's moving see. on to another electric car company, uh, Polestar, which is Sorry. part of the Volvo company. Yeah. Um, and more specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the Polestar 2, which is the full electric version. I absolutely love the simplistic styling. Once again, we were talking yeah. about keeping things simple. And this car, it's kind of got a taste of Volvo with a little more li striking lines, a little more aggressive. I think it looks great. Yeah, I I do as well. Um, it looks like a car, like a normal car. It doesn't look like it'd just be an electric car. It looks like it's something that, you know, could probably handle the Alberta roads. It does come in pretty pricey though, at around seventy thousand. Yeah, seventy thousand Canadian, so definitely a little more price, uh, a little more on the pricey side. But again, like a Volvo is going to be. They're expensive, but you're paying for their safety, so. Yeah, again, like you can even you can just tell us things going to be a tank. You can yeah, you just ram into be, things and it doesn't matter. Yeah, it'll uh, definitely keep the family safe. Yes, yeah. that's, that's the main goal too. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. But, you know, absolutely. Like, I, I love those headlights for sure. Striking. Yeah. Uh, like I said, aggressive. And, um, you know, I've watched the Shmi video with it early in an audience life and it's still in prototype form. And it, it looks like a great, a great car to drive. Yeah, I, I do like it. Um, did it say how fast it could go or anything? Like, kind of. Uh, no. One thing kind of odd 0 to 60. Uh, zero to hundred, I guess I should say, uh, is only four point seven seconds. So not very quick for an electric car, yeah. but it is supposed to be that family sedan. It's it not is, supposed to be a yeah, race it's car. Four hundred two horsepower still. That's all. Yeah, it's got some, a lot of horsepower. It's got, it's got to be though. a heavy vehicle then. Well, absolutely. Being yeah. an electric car, right? It's going to be heavy for sure. Uh, I believe for the first time ever, it's got Android infotainment completely. Like the Android, uh, sorry, the infotainment system inside the car is completely done by Android, which is very interesting and cool. So, you know, it's going to run better and it's going to run smooth. You know, there's car companies aren't always here to make um, navigations and stuff and yeah. texting, calling, whatever you got to do. So, you know, it's going to run smooth as with. Uh, with an Android, with an Android and I believe it's, yeah. it's a lot of Google stuff in there as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's got a 443 kilometer range. Um, yeah, 300 kilowatts, like oh, I yeah. said, or 408 horsepower. Uh, yeah, it's got two electric motors, one on the front axle and one on the real, rear axle, as opposed to one on each wheel, which kind of would be why an electric car is able to get that extra move from that extra 0 to 100 time. I, I do like the rear end as well, actually, those uh, those lights on the rear there, kind of Volvo-esque again, but that bar coming across on the bottom and then flicking up. I think it looks cool. Again, simple. Uh, actually, we talked about this. Yeah, so it's 4,800 pounds. Weight-wise? Yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, we talked about this with Connor at CWKS, I think, is the Instagram thing, yeah. in, our po in our interview there. And he said just that he described it as a, like a nice, simple Swedish house, <laughs> which I thought was interesting at the time. Very but, good descriptive But words. it does, it is, I kind of get it too. It's nice and simple. It's not overdone. 
it looks like a normal car, whereas yeah. a lot of electric car companies, I think, are pushing too hard for that futuristic look. Yeah, and it just a little too much, in my ugly. opinion. Yeah. Even the front of the Fisker E Motion and stuff, and even yeah, Tesla is. It's like, a lot. It's a lot. Like absolutely. they're getting rid of grills completely and everything. Which I understand, you don't need them, but. But it looks nice. It does look nice. And it just looks. This just looks simple, like a vehicle, like a car. Should. Should, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I do like it though. Moving on now to something that relates to us a little bit more in Alberta, I think. Yeah. And that is the, I probably should have looked up how to say this just to make sure. The Rivian? The Rivian R1T. Yeah, it is something. So a pickup truck, an all electric pickup truck. Uh, another one like we talked about earlier with the Fisker, a little bit small once again uh, compared to something of the likes of the F-150, which you see everywhere here, every second, it's two out of three driveways yeah. here in Sherwood Park have an F-150 on them. Oh, so. Um, wow. Did uh, So some of the specs on it are, it's got up to 400, a little bit more than 400 miles per uh 644 charge. kilometers yeah is the range yeah. yeah zero to 60 in three seconds uh, quick in a up to 750 horsepower is what they're guessing so. yes it says still uh it's estimated still range but yeah. uh, and, and horsepower 829 yeah. foot pound of torque which is a lot yeah good for towing Eleven thousand pounds in towing now i i I don't trust the uh, max towing capacities on these things. Until you see it for yourself. Until <laughs> I see it for myself. Because I know the Tesla, there's like different styles. I don't know. I watched a thing on it about how the Tesla Cybertruck like, doesn't actually, it's got this high max towing capacity, but how, when it, it can't actually relate that to real life situations and stuff. You can throw any numbers out there saying anything. Yeah. Uh, again, and yeah, one me one wheel per motor, so yeah. it literally is like a four wheel drive yeah. type of thing, which is great for a pickup truck. It looks a little more rugged, and I'd like it actually be able to use it off road and stuff, which is why they well, like, they're saying you should be able to go into three feet of like water. Water waiting in an electric vehicle. I was just about to yeah. get there. That is unbelievable. So its waiting depth is three feet. That is insane for an electric vehicle. Yeah. I would never want to do that no, because you die. You might die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, know, the apparently, you can just rip through with this guy. If you, like it, it's built for a kind of off roading. That's what they're they're displaying it as a lot. Yeah. And their um, uh, their models and their what's the word I'm looking for? No idea. Uh, we can oh, just well. move on if yeah. you don't know. Then. Now should we talk about this front end? There's... Yeah, that's what I was just getting at. What do you think of the front end? Like, I kind of I like it more in the silver one uh, that they've shown on their website. Yeah, than the blue I like one. the I like the blue one better. I just like the color of blue. I like the blue, but the the headlights look odd. They're I, I think like they're this... hilarious. Actually, I think it's like there's like let's just screw the norm and just go with whatever we want to do. Oh, definitely new, unique for sure. Yeah. I'm interested to see, like, are those the daytime running lights and then inside the little circles? It looks like Those that, are the those, high beams and night lights, something like that. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. And it looks like, I don't really know what that, like, front line is doing there. I don't know if that's a light or if I, it's just It's a design. light. It's got to be a light for sure. But, like, I yeah, that's a lot of daytime running light. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can see the little... Uh, fog lamps are at the bottom but yeah i like the fog lamps i think they're actually tied in a lot better yeah they help out it kind of looks like a smiley face you know bro yeah, it kind of does it With looks the, a little uh, funky the little front tray there as well but, uh, i i i think it's a cool concept look and yeah i you kind of just have to see it in person to to really get what to see what it looks like i do like this uh the back light on the tailgate how it's just one strip all the way through yes i do like the that for sure. One yeah. beef I have with the rear is how it comes up. Uh, yeah, I don't like that either. That's what you know. I mentioned before that it kind of reminds me of a ridge line as well. Yeah. Uh, and that's why for the it's main probably part, for aerodynamics is the reason why. 